Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our Schubert Helmet Sizing and Buying Guide at Revzilla.com. So Schubert, as a brand, has been around for 90 years. 90 years in business, 60 years making helmets, and 30 years in the wind tunnel. It's a brand predicated on R&D, testing, and precision. Remember, it's German. German helmets made in a German factory, handmade by Germans. There's a very high degree of detail and technicality that go into these helmets. You're going to see that as I break down the full line here, and that's what you're investing in. You're investing in safety, performance, and technical specification. Now, in front of me, I have the four key Schubert helmets on the table. We have a detailed breakdown on Revzilla.com, a video in-depth on each one of these helmets. In this video today, I'm going to talk about sizing. I'm going to walk you through the key nuances of the line. SR1, S2, C3 Pro, C3 Pro Women's. And keep in mind, if you're good on the sizing, you can always click right here, skip right ahead to our model breakdown. You'll always be able to come back. Let's start here and walk through fitment. So come on on there, Joe. I'm going to talk about how you properly size a Schubert helmet. Now, Schubert's an intermediate or neutral round head shape. So what I consider is my head shape's a bit more intermediate oval. Joe's head shape is going to be a little bit more neutral. Both of these will work. They fit really well, both through the forehead, in the jaw, and around the Adam's apple, especially with some of the newer models as the fit continues to progress. So to fit yourself correctly, remember, we have a size chart on the product detail page. We're also available for contact whenever you need us. Use a soft tape, get a friend. You want to go around the, the widest point of circumference. Joe, move that up so it's just around, just above your eyebrows. And you, I recommend that you taking the measurement on the side of the head. It's a little bit easier to make sure you're in that high point on front and back. Joe's going to come in at 24 or 23 and 3 quarter inches. Thanks, Joe. That's going to put him in around an extra large. Remember, Schubert doesn't run small. They don't run big. So typically, the size chart should work with whatever measurement you get. Just have a friend do it. It'll be much more accurate. It's really that simple. And you also, as I mentioned when I talked about a head shape, just think about it. If you have a really, really round head or if you have a really, really long head, typically, Schubert's not going to work for you. You're going to need to be somewhere more intermediate, more in the middle. So when you get into the Schubert lineup, there's a lot of DNA that's shared between the helmets. Talk about D DOT and ECE rating. The shells of the Schubert are composite. They're called the strong fiber. Schubert also does, like I said, I talked a lot about fit, very similar fit outside of the SR1, which is going to be a very all-encompassing race fit. A lot of the Schubert helmets are going to have a drop-down sun visor. So you're going to see it in the C3 Pro Women's, the C3 Pro. The S2 here in the middle has the drop-down sun visor. You don't need it on the race helmet, so it doesn't exist in the SR1. Also take note that the C3, C3 Pro, as well as the S2 will take a Schubert SRC. And you can see it here in the bottom of the C3 Pro. Cardo has paired up with Schubert to make an OEM fit replacement neck roll that houses the Bluetooth unit. It's basically the same function as a Cardo G4. Notice that it takes the place of your neck roll. And what they didn't want to do was take an 82 decibel helmet, which is the most quiet modular on the market. That's the standard in the industry and have a big sail hanging on the side and an external Bluetooth unit. So Schubert's thinking about OEM integration on further components and they're really thinking about how to press these helmets forward. So, if you get past the DNA that's shared between the helmets, let's walk into the nuances. So I've already told you, the C3 Pro is the juggernaut of the modular market. It stands on the shoulders of the C3, which was widely considered to be the best, the best modular available until this helmet came out. Improved ventilation, improved fit scheme. It now has a spoiler on the side, so it's going to work a little bit better in three-quarter or more aggressive, sporty, or riding positions. You know, Pinlock lens comes stock in the box. And I already mentioned, if you could see it here, I'm going to pull this up one more time. We have our drop-down sun visor. It's going to be anti-scratch and optically correct. And that's a feature that allows you to not have to carry a second shield. So that's the C3 Pro. Remember, we have a 21-minute video on it. Watch that. Standing on the shoulders of the C3 Pro, you have the C3 Pro Women's, which is the same helmet, different facial contour, as well as different density of cheek pads with a more washable liner. You'll see that magenta liner if I open it up here. The C3 Pro Women's has a very specific liner that's going to be more comfortable and functional for a lady rider, but doesn't sacrifice any of the quality, the quiet, or the lightweight factor. And remember, your C3 Pro for the men is around 3 pounds, 9 ounces, so very, very lightweight without having to go to carbon fiber. Now, if I move to my right, I take a lot of the DNA from the C3 Pro and I move it into the S2. This is a sport, sport touring helmet, aggressive in its design. It's funny because we see a lot of the whites, the high-vis colorways, the silvers do really, really well in the more touring-oriented helmets, and when you get into the sportier helmets, you start to see matte and black and matte black, matte black and black move to the forefront. 
So we have a dark smoke shield. It comes with the clear, but we want to show it here on the S2. The S2 is also going to have the drop-down sun visor. Notice that the vent's configuration is slightly different, and if I spin it to the back, you're going to see it's a slightly more aggressive line to it as well. This guy is going to come in slightly less, in, less expensive because there's less functionality than something like the C3 Pro that it's a full face. But again, this is a helmet that's going to work in a lot of different riding scenarios, and even with, these, with the scoop on the front, it's going to work well from a downforce and, downforce and stability standpoint, even on a naked bike. That's the S2. There's really nothing you can't ride in an S2. It's going to work well in all conditions. Now, as I go to the other side of the table, this is again, now I'm playing in that very specific pool one more time. This is the SR1, Apex Predator, top of the food chain, built to be a race thoroughbred helmet to go right up against some of the best that we've seen from Shelby and Arai. The SR1 is meant to be worn in the tuck, it has an adjustable spoiler for downforce. The venting scheme is completely different. Notice there's no drop down sun visor on the SR1. I'm gonna open up my shield here. Shield locks in place. I see here, there we go. Open up my shield. It's very strong detents as I rotate it around. And again, a very, very classic yet aggressive look. You know, venting in a horseshoe pattern on top. And even if you look at the back, you're gonna notice a dramatic venting scheme from Schubert. The SR1 again has it's a full detailed breakdown video. So keep in mind with an investment this technical, what you wanna do is your homework. Watch our detailed breakdown videos. Click right here to visit revzilla.com slash Schubert. And when you click on the product detail page, remember there are a ton of customers, a ton of riders out there putting these helmets through their paces every day. Read their customer reviews and feedback on the product review page. Take my word for it, watch our video, learn about the product, but then learn how people are using them as well. If you have questions, see us at revzilla.com, 877-792-9455. We're here to help. We wear these helmets all of the time. And keep in mind as well that we ship in exchange for free over the internet. Thanks for watching our sizing and buying guide for our Schubert helmets. We're one of the largest Schubert helmet dealers in the world. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.